So guys, I just got done doing an outdoor workout. Uh, it's hot as hell out in Minnesota. It's like 90 degrees, so I'm not putting a damn shirt on. Um, if anybody wants to complain about it, sorry. Uh, too bad. Um, got some new stuff today. For any of you who are unaware, I'm a bartender. Um, for COVID, I got laid off for three months, so it was great. It was amazing. I got to fish all the time. Um, I loved it, and although I think COVID is pretty much way overblown at this point um if i get laid off again i will enjoy the hell out of it especially if there's more money there um i don't know if that unemployment's going to be there anymore that extra 600 they're talking about maybe 400 or something whatever i'll take it i'll go out of work if i if i have to keep the country safe whatever but my first week back to work i only worked three days and they were limited hours so i'm still able to get unemployment i still got 700 bucks in addition to that working and then now I'm back to full swing uh, five days a week actually we had someone quit so uh, I'm kind of raking in the money right now uh, I've been pretty smart with my money over the last few years and even though I have a fishing spending addiction um, still smart still save over 20% of my income and I got this last free check free money and although I still have to pay taxes on all of it I figured, you know what, what the hell, I'm gonna buy myself a couple nice things that I've wanted and that's what this video today is about. Some cool new stuff I got. So this is my first one. This is a kind of a cheap crappy brand, I think, but maybe, I don't know. It's called Yes For All. It's got like an Amazon workout company. Um, this was like 35 bucks, I think. It's a 10 pound mace bell. So I took this to the park today did 20 minute run and then I did some mace bell stuff and just like some warm up stuff with it just using it like I would just a regular dumbbell or something like that some shoulder stuff um, some mace bell swings around the back and this thing's pretty sweet uh, for 35 bucks there's a lot of stuff you can do with it uh, mace bell specific shoulder stuff otherwise just like a nice weight to warm up with to get a good pump going to get a good cool down or just like a day you don't really have that much movement maybe you have an office job and you've had to work a 10 hour day sitting at the office all day and you're like man i really need to lube up the joints a little bit move around get some movement you can just grab this thing it's it's decently heavy when you're holding an offset but it's not too heavy and you can just get some good flows with it do a quick 10 minute workout get the blood flowing get the joints nice and loosened up and everything and definitely help you feel better so first thing First little gift to myself with my unemployment, last unemployment check that I really don't need. Mace Bell, 10 pounder, yes for all on Amazon, pretty sweet. Next up, I got a Rogue Fitness Band. This is the purple band. Um, I already have one purple band, I wanted to get a second. So that's what this is. Um, it is a super thick, big band um, mostly for like lower body movements and stuff so what my plan is to get this one put it on the foot and then over the shoulder and then uh, I would do the other the same thing with the opposite one and do like some explosive quarter squat stuff to help improve uh, jumping power especially since I play sand volleyball um, it's nice to be able to get that power to jump high and a lot of times you really need to like react and jump quickly you don't have time to go all the way down and all the way up into a max jump you only have time to do a quick quarter squat jump so hoping that's really going to help me with that make me jump a little bit higher um, next up this box that absolutely got freaking mangled here is from tackle warehouse so there's my knife so everything inside is fine, I think it should be. They really do not handle these packages very well. Okay, so a couple soft plastics, Tackle Warehouse sticker that's pretty much destroyed. And the Tatula SVTW 103HS, I know that's a mouthful. This is the new Tatula SV, this is the 2020 version. Um, I have two 2019 versions or whatever, maybe they're 2018, I don't know exactly, but this one is supposed to be even better. My two 2019s are 
phenomenal reels. I absolutely love them. They're my two favorite reels I have. Um, and I got a lot of nice reels. Those are two of the best. And I don't think this one is going to be any exception. If this one's better than the 2019 ones, if they made any upgrades, um, I'm going to love this thing so freaking much. It is awesome. It feels great. Uh, very light. Um, very cool design. So this is... It's got the little D Daiwa logo there. It's got the spider on the spool tension knob. Um, it's got like a shiny black design or dark gray black. Uh, it's got this spider graphic there and the Daiwa logo. Amazing looking reel. So freaking sweet. I'm so pumped for this. I got a rod. I'm going to put it on in a second. But um, I'll show you what the baits I got too. Just a couple. I. I need to stop buying so many lures. Literally at this point, I think I have enough fishing lures that if I fish 100 days a year open water fishing for the rest of my life, I probably still won't live to use all of these baits. So, um, got to hit the brakes on that a little bit. It's so much fun lure shopping, but if I'm not going to live to use them all, it's definitely not worth spending the money on, especially when I spend that money on gas for fishing or taking days off to go fishing. That's a better use of it than buying a bunch more lures I don't need. But um, there is a couple that I really wanted to try. This is the 6-inch Little Creeper All-American Trash Fish. They're just awesome looking little baits. So you got the hooks for them right here. Owner weighted swim bait hook. And these are the... Same thing, fatty. So this is the six inch All-American Trash Fish. This is the fatty All-American Trash Fish. Looks like probably five or six inches also, but um, they're a little bit different. So I'll take them out of the package here quick. Almost look like they're connected. I don't know, that's just something to protect their tail in here. Huh, so they got a little like mold thing in here to protect their tail. Apparently, that is one of the best parts of these is the tail. And I've heard from multiple sources that these are like some of the best swim baits you can possibly throw. You know, guys are saying, I threw this bait at them, I threw this bait at them. They wouldn't hit anything except for the trash fish. Um, they're pretty expensive baits. I think they're like... 15 bucks for two and apparently they last a really long time the one negative is i'm in minnesota i'm in northern pike country so um even if they would last 40 or 50 bass if you get one pike that swallows it and bites it off you're done for so uh that really sucks but okay let's look at the difference here this is the six inch trash fish this thing looks extremely realistic it's amazing looking um it's got the little fins right here pectoral, uh, dorsal fin here, a couple caudal, anal fins, whatever you call that. Um, and then it's got this paddle tail. Um, I have a 13 fishing swim bait that has worked pretty well. It's got a similar tail design. Um, just like a big paddle tail with this little top one here that just swims so nicely. And then there's the fatty. So the fatty also very realistic looking right next to it. Um, they have a lot of different colors. I don't really think it matters that much. All of them look very realistic. And I don't think the color really matters that much. All of them look so realistic if you're matching the hatch, you know, the fish, unless you're fishing super, super clear water, the fish aren't even gonna be able to tell the difference between these two colors right here. And even if they could, I think they would probably eat either one. But uh, uh, differences, the fatty definitely is quite a bit fatter. It's not like night and day difference, but it is probably one and a half times fatter. Um, how much of a difference that would make, I have no idea. Um, if it's better because it's fatter, maybe it uh, is more buoyant, maybe it doesn't fall as fast, or just that bigger profile for bigger fish. But between the two, there's not a whole hell of a lot of difference. Um, I think the fatty is a little bit more expensive too. So if you're torn between the two, I, I don't think there's a whole lot of difference. I think. Whatever fish sees either one is definitely going to, if they're hungry or territorial or whatever, if they're in the mood to eat or chase, they're going to be chasing either one of these baits. But both of them look phenomenal. Hoping I can catch a lot of bass on them without 
tangling up with any pike. Ideally, I'd catch zero pike on them, so I don't get any teeth marks or anything. But it's inevitable. It's Minnesota. It's going to happen. Um, but yeah, two, the fatty and the six inch all American trash fish. These baits look phenomenal. I'm ex very excited to throw these, try these out soon. And last but not least, I got a new rod for the new Tatula SV. Uh, this is a halo rod, I believe. I'm pretty sure it was a halo rod. Ordered this stuff like over two weeks ago, but with the COVID shipping delays, the hell was that? The COVID shipping delays, it's not, you know, shipping in two or three days or whatever, it's taken weeks. Wrong end. <clears throat> But uh, this rod, this rod was on sale for ninety nine dollars, so I ended up getting this. All right, so I finally got it open here. Really like how Tackle Warehouse packages these rods in the tube, um, very safely packaged. You know those freaking UPS guys are not handling your packages well at all. And I got one Amazon package that wasn't packed in that nice stiff rod tube and the rod was broken. I had to send it back. Made a video about that. I will never sell or I will never buy a rod on Amazon again. So, all my rods are going to be from Tackle Warehouse, but I probably won't really be ordering any unless one breaks because, as you guys can see, I have many fishing rods I really don't need anymore. Maybe replace one if it breaks. But, uh, yeah, everything looks good. Eyes are all lined up beautifully. Um, this is a damn good looking rod. So, this is a... Halo Kryptonite Series 7.5 Medium Heavy. Um, you can see that sweet looking grip on there. So it's like a green and black. Halo Rods Kryptonite. It's got the hook keeper right there. Um, pretty stout rod. Uh, decent tip action on there. It's fast action. Uh, medium Heavy, fast 7.5 like I said. So, very light too. Um, very cool looking. Obviously the Tatula looks freaking unreal. So paired up. And it's just a hell of a combo. Look at that thing. My god. So beautiful. I like the guides on it too. They're a little bit smaller. They're not like micro guides, but they're a little bit smaller. Um, very easy to grip. This grip is amazing right here. Fits in my hand so well. And then of course the Daiwa reel. Uh, nice small profile. Very easy to palm. And although it's small, it's very rugged and strong. So, oh my God, this thing is so beautiful. <laughs> God, I really want to be like a minimalist. I really want to not spend that much money on stuff. And, uh, you know, you buy one nice rod and reel set up and you're like, all right, let's use it a couple times. You're like, all right, let's get the next one. Uh, there's just always such cool, innovative stuff being made every year. And uh, it's hard to be satisfied, you know, but I try, try very hard to enjoy all the reels I have. I'm very freaking lucky. I definitely realize that. I'm very lucky to have as cool of reels I have, as cool of rods I have, as cool of a home gym as I have. Um, I made a lot of mistakes on the way. I wasted a lot of money on stupid stuff like co a college education I don't use and uh, several other stuff. But eventually I got smart, started saving money, started uh, working smarter, harder and smarter and eventually got to work less and less. And then I took a three month vacation from working from the COVID stuff and now I'm back to work five days a week hopefully getting it down to four soon um if everything goes well it's very 
hard to know what's going to happen right now with COVID, with bars possibly getting shut down again and everything. But, you know, I'm just going to roll with the punches. If the bars get shut down, I'm going to fish more. If the bars don't get shut down, uh, I'm going to be saving money just in case anything bad happens, but also trying to uh, use the money I make to enjoy life, to get out fishing, to do the things I love, and to not just stockpile money forever that I'm going to die with. So, uh, I don't know what the hell had this unboxing and new gear stuff just turned into kind of a long-winded video, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this stuff. If you have any questions about any of the stuff I bought today, uh, let me know in the comments. I'll kind of be doing like smaller individual reviews of everything here on this channel. So if you want to see a in-depth review of any of this stuff, subscribe, um, check in later, and hopefully I can kind of guide you to the right kind of gear to buy with your hard-earned money. So you're not just buying a bunch of random crap, you're buying the best stuff on the market that uh, hopefully I can try out some different stuff. I can recommend it to you guys what you should spend your hard-earned money on and save you guys the hassle of buying crap and finding out for yourself. So thanks for watching this video, guys. I will see you next time.